Hello everyone and welcome to my new video. Today I'm going to show you how you can build this awesome ambient light or a night light for your room. It is super easy to build, it has many color options and different animations and best of all it has wireless so you can control it from anywhere via your phone, tablet or a PC. In this video I'm showing a night light that I've built for my daughter but you can use the same guide to light up your media room, bookshelf, display case or anything else that you want. This build is going to be very straightforward and also super fun to play with. All components are off the shelf and we won't need any special tools to complete the build, although feel free to use them if you see fit. And as always, all hardware, firmware and software components are provided for free, so you can just go ahead and build your own. Let's get started! There are only three components to this build and those are microcontroller, WS12 LED strip and 5V power supply. For the microcontroller you can choose anything from Arduino Nano uh, or STM Blue Pill or even something less powerful like DigiSpark board or one of ESP32 development boards. Now for our project, since we want the wireless capabilities, we will use ESP32, but you can use ESP32 or ESP8266, whichever you prefer or have available. We will use the built-in micro USB to power and program the board, but later on we will use these header breakouts to provide power as well to control the LED strip. To provide power to the final assembly, you can use any 5V power supply and mate it with this DC barrel jack adapter. Also, if you want to avoid soldering, you can use female to male jumper wires to connect the barrel jack and the dev board. Also, make sure your power supply can supply enough current to the dev board and your LED strip. Now that we have power, we can go ahead and add a connector for the LED strip. My LED strip came with male and female connectors, so I'm just going to directly solder one of them to the dev board and use the other one to nicely mate the two together. But again, if you want to avoid any soldering, you can just use jumper wires and that will work too. Now to the main part. We want ESP32 to act as a very lightweight web server that we can connect to using any web browser and control LED animation, pattern, color, brightness and so on. Luckily for us, there is an awesome open source repository made by Jason Kuhn that is perfect fit for what we are trying to do. So we will download the repository and make two small adjustments. First, change the number of LEDs that we have on our LED strip. And second is providing our wireless network name and password so that ESP32 can connect to it automatically. Now that we are done with these changes, we can upload the firmware to ESP32 and also upload the SPIFF files to the external flash. Also make sure that data pin matches the pin you're intending to use for your LED strip. For me it was data pin 13 so I didn't need to change anything. To compile and upload the code, just click upload on the upper left corner of your Arduino IDE, wait for it to compile which in some cases might take a while. And as soon as you see that Arduino is trying to connect to your board, make sure you reset your ESP32 into bootloader mode so you can upload the new firmware. Once you're done with that, click ESP32 sketch data upload which will upload the SPIFF files for you. Again, as soon as you see connecting, reset your ESP32 into bootloader mode. Once that's complete, ESP32 now has your firmware and your data file. Now that we have all the electronics ready, we should think about how we want to package this. For my build, I opted to use one of these IKEA hanging laps, but you can use whatever you find best. I ended up wrapping the LED strip around the support wires of the sphere and then having the ESP32 dev module and power connector on the top side. You can also use some zip ties or whatever else you find suitable to make this look nice and tidy, but overall you're ready to go. 
Now the last step is to power up the nightlight and use your phone, tablet or PC to control it. Once you open up the IP address in your web browser, you can start playing around with the animations, patterns, speed, brightness and all other nice features that the firmware provides. That's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I did building this project. Please hit that like button and consider subscribing and sharing this video with your friends. It really does make a difference and helps my channel a lot. Also, I would like to hear your thoughts and comments on this project or what should I build next. So please leave those in the comment section down below. Thank you again for watching and I will see you in the next video. Um, going in rainbow colors and then it stops and then it's like so dark, yeah. <laughs> That's how we made it. We made a cool one, yeah. It's really cool. Hmm. Everybody knows that, that it's cool. Enjoy this video.